Hey there, let's make some hot cocoa bombs. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. In today's video, I am going to be making some hot cocoa bombs. So come along, join me. So to make these, I have some milk chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate melties, some white chocolate chips, a lot of mini marshmallows, some red and green sprinkles for decoration. I have my silicone little cupcake liners, there's a story behind this, you guys. Okay, so I actually, my mom and I tried to order some of the spherical like silicone molds and we were waiting, we were waiting. I was like waiting to make this video and then they were refunded and we are not gonna get them. So I was like, you know, it's not the end of the world. I realized I have these little cupcake molds so they're not gonna look nice and spherical, but they're gonna have a different shape and that's okay. And then finally we have the hot cocoa mix and then I have some like Cafe De Vida mocha mix and my family kind of likes chocolate mocha type drinks as well. So I figured I can make some that have a little bit of both and that might make for a really yummy drink. And I'm gonna give it a try later just to make sure that it's actually good. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is microwave these chips and get them nice and runny and fill in the cups. Okay, so my chocolate is now melted. I microwaved this for 30 second intervals, kind of stirring in between each time. And then this kind of came out with some little chunks still in it, but it was so hot that I just kind of kept stirring around and now it is pretty much completely melted. So the easiest way that I've kind of seen people do this is they've just kind of like fill up the cup or give it a good like scoop of chocolate and just kind of swirl it around. So that's what I'm gonna give a try. And then kind of dump out the excess and I'm gonna let it chill in the fridge or freezer for like 10 or 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I got my little cup and I really don't know what the best way to get this in. But I'm loving these silicone molds for all my breads and all my baking, so I'm excited that I get to use this in yet another way. <laughs> now that it is nice and filled, I'm pretty much just gonna like let it run off the sides and just coat the entire mold as best as possible. I'll probably have to refill it a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more in and let it run off the little portion that I missed. And then I don't like to waste with like a drying rack, so I'm just gonna waste my time, I guess, by holding this over until it kind of stops dripping and then I'll do the next one. So one of the techniques that I kind of discovered as I was filling this up was I put just a big chunk of chocolate in my silicone cupcake liners and then just kind of pushed the edges in so that they would get fully coated in chocolate before dumping it out. And then I learned later on that I should just dump it into the next cupcake liner. So keep that in mind if you're trying this for yourself. Okay, the chocolate is out of the freezer and now comes the tricky part in some sense. I'm gonna try to peel off the silicone without breaking the chocolate. And I think once I get all the way around, I can just kind of pull it off from both sides. Okay, so I've gone like all the way around. I'm just gonna pop this out and it comes out nice and clean. It literally looks like it could be like a really thick Reese's peanut butter cup. But I'm gonna set this aside and do all of these and probably toss it back in the fridge because I don't want them to get too soft, I guess. We'll see into the freezer they go again because I have to make a whole lot more. Each cocoa bomb is gonna have two of these and I'm making them for a lot of people. So this isn't probably even half of what I have to make. Okay, I finished my second batch. So these are gonna go back in the freezer now and I'm gonna take out the original batch and then we're gonna fill these guys up. So now comes the fun part. We're gonna fill up half of these guys with our hot cocoa mix and some marshmallows. And then we are going to essentially create a little seal and we'll have our little bombs. So for six ounces of water, the instructions on this thing say do like 20 grams of cocoa mix. 
but I figure usually people put a little bit more than just six ounces in. So I'm gonna do 30 grams of the hot cocoa mix and hopefully that will be good enough. And then we have the little marshmallows. This is the fun part because once the hot cocoa bombs like break open, the marshmallows go to the top of the cup and it just gives it like a nice little surprise. You could also put like some fun sprinkles in here that are like bigger that, you know, aren't like the crystal ones that I have. Uh, that would also be a really fun touch. Okay, so the next step is to secure the chocolate to the top. What I've seen some people do is melt a hot, like a, get a hot surface and melt the edges. But what I am going to do is just kind of dip it in my existing chocolate or like kind of rub my chocolate on the edges. Uh, and then that will give us the seal that we're looking for. And I guess I got to work fast because I am a warm blooded person and I don't want to melt my chocolate. And then you can just kind of like seal the edges by smearing the chocolate around. Okay, these are all done. I'm gonna put them back in the freezer and start working on the other ones so that these can kind of firm up again and then I can do some decorations on top. So I ran out of the rest of my like hot cocoa mix so it was time to switch to my mocha mix. And we had some of these little packets on hand which is dark chocolate so I figured since I was doing like one and a half servings worth, I'll put one of these packets in and um, like 10 grams of the mocha powder and maybe that will make a yummy drink. So I filled up a couple more, like another round of the cupcake little holders and those are gonna be hardening once I switch them out with the completed bombs that are in the freezer. I melted some white chocolate chips and I'm gonna be transferring it to a little piping bag that I have. You don't need the piping bag or the tip that I'm using. It was just, I had it kind of assembled and I wanted to use it up. So you could just use a Ziploc bag, pour the melted chocolate in and cut off a little tiny bit on the corner and use that. So in no way is that necessary. So let's get decorating. Okay, so now that these guys are done, these have been frozen, so they're nice and firm. I'm gonna put them in these little containers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I showed this in a previous haul. Um, I just kind of lined it with a little bit of tissue paper, and then I'm gonna take a cupcake liner and just kind of like stretch it out a little bit so that it doesn't like lie exactly right on my cupcake-shaped cocoa bombs. And this will fit two, and I have a bunch of these containers, and then I also have some baggies for them as well. So last Christmas, I actually shared with you guys a new kind of like family tradition where we come up with our own crafts and we do like a little like white elephant type gift exchange with those gifts. And that's kind of all that we do as adults. We no longer really get each other gifts anymore. We just do that DIY and then like a $40 
kind of white elephant type gift exchange auction thing. And I might explain more in a future video or I will at least link that video up above if you guys wanna check that out. If I finish my little DIY uh, for this Christmas before this video airs and like while I'm editing it, I will make sure to give you guys a little sneak peek at the end of this video. So the reason I'm talking about that, with that being said, I wanted to give my family something else for Christmas and that is why we made the hot cocoa bombs today. I will be trying out one for myself, the one with the mocha, just so I can kind of get a feel for what it tastes like after dinner. So I will check back in when we're ready for that. Okay, so it is after dinner. I've warmed up for about a minute and a half in the microwave, about nine ounces of milk. And we're gonna go ahead and drop in my hot cocoa slash mocha bomb. So here goes nothing. We'll see how long this actually takes. Got some marshmallows. I'm excited to try this after it's all mixed up. Okay, here we go. Tastes more like just hot cocoa, not so much the mocha that I was expecting, but it's very yummy and I think that the proportions are right. I will recommend that people use about nine ounces of milk or hot water if that's what they want. It's not overly sweet, but I have a sweet tooth, so people may like to dilute it even more, but I think for my sweet tooth, nine ounces is good. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for joining me today on this little video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love to have you stick around. Let me know in the comments if you guys try this for yourself and let me know if this is the first you're hearing of these things because I've seen them all over TikTok and this is actually gonna be one of my TikTok try videos because I've been just like been bombarded with these videos online and I just had to give it a try. They were cute and I really liked the experience. I hope you guys do too. So I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so here's your little sneak peek at my little Christmas DIY. I made these little geometrical cement vases and they have a little filter um, or like a little draining hole. So I'm gonna fill this up with some soil and then put in some succulents that I have grown by myself from the little leaves of the succulents. So I made three of them and I'm really happy with how they turned out.